we are now going to use weighted averages to judge uh, a cooking contest. So think of this as like Iron Chef America or something like that. So we've got three judges and three chefs. Now the three judges have different uh, theories on how they should be weighted. So first question is the first judge. So she, uh, this judge thinks that 25% should be taste. So taste is 25%. Presentation should be 50%. And creativity should be 25%. So, obviously, these are weighted averages uh, with percentages. So, we've got to do three problems for each one of these, right? One for each chef. So, when we think of Chef Scott, 25% times 10 plus 50% times 10 plus 25% times 10. When you do the math for Judge Scott, he ends up with a score of 10. And that will be pretty consistent. Now, let's go to Chef Alex. We've got 25% times 13, plus 50% times 4, plus 25% times 13, right? Because we're taking the percent times the value. And Chef Alex will end up with an 8.5 from Judge 1. Let's go to Chef Aaron. Same concept, 25% times 14, plus 50% times 8, plus 25% times 8, and the score is 9.5. So according to chef number one, Scott is the winner with number 10. Well, judge two says, no, 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 no. That's not how we're going to do this. Taste is going to be 50%. Presentation is 35. And creativity should be 15. Notice again that the percentage, they all add up to 100, so this is okay. All right, well, they say, okay, let's check it out. So let's start with chef Scott. 50% times 10, plus 35% times 10, plus 15% times 10, Chef Scott still has a score of 10. That's right, because they're all 10s, so that works. Okay, Chef Alex, 50% times 13, plus 35% times 4, plus 15% times 13, gives Chef Alex a score of 9.85. And then we go to Chef Aaron, 50% times 14, oops, I got an extra decimal point in there, times 14, plus 35% times 8, plus 15% times 8, gives Chef Aaron a score of 11. So according to Judge 2, Aaron's the winner. Well, Judge 3 is like, you both cray cray, and we should give presentation 20%, but both taste and creativity should be 40. So according to the third judge, we start with Scott, 40% times 10, plus 20% times 10, plus 40% times 10, gives Scott a score of surprisingly 10. Then we go to Alex, 40% times 13, plus 20% times 4, plus 40% times 13, gives Alex a score of 11.2. Then we go to Chef Aaron, 40% times 14, plus 20% times 8, plus 40% times 8, gives Aaron a score of 10.4. So according to Chef 3, Alex is the winner. So you'll notice three judges, three different weighting techniques, three different winners. So they get together and they say, you know what? Let's use all three and let's put them together and see who wins. So Scott scored a 10, a 10, and a 10, so ends up with 30 points. Alex scored an 8.5, a 9.85, and an 11.2 for a total score of 29.55. And then Chef Aaron scored a 9.5, a, oops, an 11, and then a 10.4 for a total of 30.9. So when we put them all together, Chef Aaron is our overall winner. So again, I mean, it kind of depends. Let's go back to page one. You can see that the different, because of their different scores in different categories, um, depending on where you put the heaviest weight, that's where you know, you're going to have the biggest, um, the biggest impact.